Hi, Omega Kyus again with another real life deck profile, and this time I'm showing my updated uh, Sark Magician deck. So, uh, I guess uh, let's go with this deck. So, uh, first the monsters. So, I run a triple uh, Chronograph Saucer, of course, a very essential card to, for your uh, Electromite combos, as well as uh, to summon out uh, Supreme King Sark. Then one uh, Supreme King Gate Infinity goes uh, pretty good, skill 13 uh, and level 7 monster for uh, absolute dragon plays. Then uh, Supreme King Gate Infinity, uh, I mean Supreme King Gate 0, uh, of course scale 0, uh, other level 7 monster, and of course uh, both are searchable with uh, Dark War, so definitely. Uh, pretty important card for sure. Then, of course, triple uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Of course, very important for your uh, Electromite plays. Of course, you send with, uh, to the graveyard with uh, Dragon Shrine or Full Sporeal. And then you can summon it and uh, go pretty much. Then, one All Eyes uh, Arc Pendulum Dragon. You can send it to the graveyard with Dragon Shrine and stuff like that. Um, and of course, it's important to summon out Supreme King Sark because obviously our double Irish magician is banned. Then, uh, two uh, black one magician, yes, scale eight, uh, very good as well. And of course, name for the Xyz dragon for Sark. Then, uh, triple uh, pearl poison magician, of course, really good card, as well as of course, uh, the fusion dragon name for Sark. And then, one. A white wing magician, uh, learn for a uh, pendulum tuner, and as well as, well as name for um, name a synchro dragon for Sark. Then, of course, a uh, triple uh, uh, harmonizer magician, of course, a very good card for synchro plays, uh, link plays, and uh, exist plays, so very powerful card for sure. Then, one uh, Xiang magician, uh, it's a level 7. Peter, uh, you can negate light monster effects, and of course, uh, all around a pretty good card in this deck. Then I use one uh, Dragon Pit Magician, another level 7 uh, Magician, uh, scale 8, and can destroy back row. That's the money, pretty good. Then uh, two Oath Dragon Magician, uh, pretty good Recyclers of Magicians and all dice uh, monsters from the Exo deck. Uh, it's a uh, level 6, so you can make a uh, Norito with this, so that's not really, uh, really good. Your main, uh, I guess, low scale in the stack. Then, of course, a uh, triple uh, Wisdom Magician. Of course, still a very powerful card in the stack. Uh, then, one uh, Time Gaze Magician. Of course, to summon out, out with uh, Chronic of Sorcerer. Definitely uh, pretty necessary. Then, kind of a new addition to the stack is triple uh, Mist Valley Apex, uh, Apex Avian. Decided to try it out. I think it's pretty good. Of course, extra, extra negation and whatnot. But I'm not sure if I will keep it in. We'll see. And then the spells. I use triple, uh, two as the lands. Of course, search out all the your pendulum named cards like uh, pendulum call and uh, your pendulum crafts. Definitely pretty good in this particular variant of the deck. Then of course, uh, triple uh, pendulum call for consistency. Uh, definitely uh, really good, but uh, you have to hope that you won't get dashed or anything like that. Another new card, one uh, Pendulum Halt. Essentially, if you have uh, three or more uh, face of Pendulum monsters in your X deck, you can activate this, you draw two cards, but then you can't uh, draw, uh, you can't, can't add any other cards uh, from your deck like to your hand uh, for the rest of the turn. Definitely, I think it's a pretty interesting card for sure, but the other cards on the setup, but it is searchable with uh, two less lands, so that's definitely really good. Then, uh, two uh, Dragon Shrine, of course for Dark Worm and uh, all the Dark Pendulum Dragon. Then, uh, one uh, Foolish Burial, of course. Then your Pendulum Graphs. Uh, Star Pendulum Graph, pretty good. And your only trap. A time Pendulum Craft because it's an extra disruption and really good card as well. So that was the main deck. Now let's see the next deck.
of course the main card for this deck and it's one of my favorite uh, cards ever the Supreme King Sark of course I think you probably know how to summon this card in this particular deck the only way to summon it is with uh, Chronicle of Sorcerer obviously if you summon it it destroys your opponent's whole field it can be targeted or destroyed by card effects that's really pretty amazing if you get it out then one uh, all dies uh, Vorex Dragon, of course, uh, very powerful negation. Uh, you summon it out with uh, your uh, Absolute Dragon combo, so that really pretty good. Then one Supreme King Dragon uh, Clearing, of course, um, really good, like Eki on legs, and uh, does some pretty significant damage as well. Then one Ignista Prominent, uh, of course, non targeting, non destruction removal. Uh, pretty good. Another new addition to this deck is one uh, Boralwood Savage Dragon. Of course, very powerful Synchro Monster. Can make it dip pretty easily with Harmonized, Harmonized Magician. Does not really more negations. Then one All Eyes Absolute Dragon for the combo. And pretty good rank 7 as well. Then one Norito the Moral Leader. Another pretty good um, Exis Monster. It basically negates uh, spells and traps. Then one Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion for some other key plays and whatnot, and uh, just uh, good to get around some cards. Then one Time Star Magician to search out essential uh, uh, cards and combos with uh, Time Pendulum Graph as well. Then one Car Corcon Until Lumens and Night. Uh, to redirect targets, good against Sky Strikers and uh, decks like that. Then uh, one uh, Eos Moon Nightmare, a pretty good uh, disruption card. So yeah, then some Link Monsters. So one uh, Sephiroth Metal Thorn uh, uh, for a combo, and it, ha and it has uh, three uh, Link uh, pointers uh, pointing down. So that's definitely uh, pretty good. Then one uh, Tico Talker. Uh, just in case if you can't use uh, uh, several metal throne for the combo, you use this. Then one uh, heavy metal force electrolyte, of course your main link monster you want to go into every time first turn. So yeah. And the last link monster is uh, Lan Forincus. So of course it's a generic link. And two link markers pointing down. Definitely pretty good. So, this was my update uh, Sark Magician deck. Of course, this deck will keep, keep evolving. Uh, I think, like you saw, I'm not using any of the Endymion cards in this particular deck. Uh, first, I don't have uh, the Mythical Beast engine right now. And second, I want to keep Endymion as its own separate uh, deck. So, I hope you enjoyed this real-life deck profile. For now, goodbye and Omakius out.